everybody. Um, right, now this time what I'm going to be doing is, um, this is the, the piece of wood that I used to make the, um, the leg of the, the bed base there. And obviously I've got like so much wood left. And I thought that because of um, now this area where I used um, to do my paintings, because it's kind of, I mean, I can still use it, but I don't really want to sort of risk getting my um, duvet covered in bits of paint or, or whatever. Um, so what I'm now planning to do is make a small easel um, that I can put on my desk here and, and use this as a painting area. Now, because of the um, obviously limited space that I've got in the motorhome, I've been doing like small paintings. This is like A4 size and uh, also the the one over there. So this is the kind of size paintings that I'm uh, going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is cut this down to make a uh, an easel, not like a sort of triangular one, um, which is a common one to do, but I think to um, to make it more stable I'm going to sort of do two um, vertical pieces say one there one there do a cross piece across the top and then like down the back I'll probably do one uh, piece that comes out at a, a bit of an angle um, so yeah this is going to be sort of made by kind of like interlocking pieces so I'm going to do things like say cut um, a piece out of there so that I can then put the uh, the horizontal piece across the top um, and also kind of like cut uh, a notch out of it so that the the bottom of the uh, the the canvas or the board or whatever can just like rest on it and I don't need to use like clamps uh, to keep it in place okay so I'm going to get started on this now I've managed to get one piece cut before the inevitable torrential rain uh, came in. First day of July. Fabulous stuff. Anyway, so this is going to be sort of, so looking from the side, so that bottom bit, oops, that bottom bit here, this is where like the, the painting will rest on, on there. So this is how it will stand up. A little bit of an angle there at the bottom so it just leans back a little bit. That uh, notch that I've cut out there means I'm going to join another piece going across to the other one. So of course there'll be two of these and the same. And I've just got to wait for it to stop raining. Hopefully, maybe I'll be able to get this done within a couple of weeks. We'll see. I've done a, a nicer job on the uh, the second piece of these. Um, as you can see with what I did on the first one, this is how I was doing it. So I was like cutting like through uh, the wood uh, this way, just like cutting grooves in them. So I could then like just saw through it um, in smaller pieces. Um, but when I was doing the grooves on there a couple of times, I sort of went a little bit too deep. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, you know, it's only an arty, so it's going to... Um, get covered with paint and stuff but I'd still like to do uh, a nice job um, but yeah the second one is uh, is nicer nice and smoother than the other one